Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne. I got a video for that Kimball, United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. In today's video, I am going to be discussing the 2025 cost of living adjustment, also known as COLA. So make sure you stick around. Okay. The 2025 cost of, cost of living adjustment, also known as COLA. I found a website that provided some insight on the upcoming 2025 COLA, which I think a uh, little bit interesting. But keep in mind, folks, I do not want you to take your eye off the prize by worrying yourself about the 2025 COLA, uh, uh, COLA allowance when you can't get to 10%, when you can't get to 20 or even 30% to add your dependents, do not take your eye off the prize. I'm just showing you what I found uh, on the internet for those of you that are curious. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. So this is Social Security's 2025 cost of living adjustment COLA forecast has changed, but a history-making raise is still probable. Not the raise that we got for 2023. That was, eight. I think it was 8.7%. That's not what they're talking about, okay? <laughs> Trust me. You'll probably see more YouTube videos uh, about it uh, if it was, okay? So it says Social Security's cost of living adjustment is on the verge of doing something that hasn't happened in roughly three decades, but it likely won't help retirees, okay? Everything is going up. Everything is going up except pay, all right? I don't know if we will ever see an 8.7 increase in our lifetime like we uh, previously did, okay? So it says in June, Social Security, more than 51.1 million retired worker beneficiaries, beneficiaries took home an average check of, what was that, 1.9 million, which works out to a little over 23,000 on an annualized basis, okay? So one thing to keep in mind, the VA doesn't post their uh, COLA until Social Security. Everybody goes off of what Social Security is gonna give, okay? There's that young fella holding some cash. All right, uh, it talks about what is Social Security, what is uh, Social Security's COLA and why is it important? Now, they get the numbers from the previous year. And a calculation will determine the percentage for the upcoming year cost of living allowance. Also keep in mind, when we are paid for compensation on the first of the month, it is for the previous month, okay? And once it goes through the government, everybody signs off, it will go into effect December 1st if, in fact, they decide to increase, okay, give us a cost of living increase. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not going to bore you all with a lot of these um, paragraphs they have, but what I'm going to do, make sure you click the link in the, I'm going to put this link in the description section, so make sure you go down and you click on the link and you can come back and read this article uh, one, two, three, four times or whatever, okay? So here it just gives U.S. inflation rate, okay? from, what is it, Ooh, well before the 1980s, all the way up to 2020, up to 2020, okay? So look at 1980, it was really high. And then in, uh, what is it, 2022 maybe, it peaked, maybe 2023, it peaked up there, okay? The eight, eight got up to eight point some percent, all right? All right, cost of living adjustment forecast have shifted, but it's still on pace to make history. So what they're talking about, look at this second, Paragraph here. However, the, la the last three cost of living adjustments have bucked this trend 2022, 2023, and 2024. 5.9, 8.7, 3.2%. 3.2%. Now, if you look at the uh, paragraph just above that, and it gives the numbers, uh, it says the average COLA over the last 20 years is 2.6%. Okay. Um, no COLA at was. Passed along in 2010, 2011, 2016. I didn't even notice it because I really wasn't paying attention to it, okay? 
in those years, 2010, 2011, 2016. Now, I can't remember remember vaguely in 2010, 11, there were some rumblings within the VA amongst VA employees like, oh, they're not going to give us a cost of living allowance this year. And I just never paid attention to it, okay? Um, it really caught my attention to 8.7%. That's when I really start to pay attention to it because here's why. I don't want you to lose focus on this cost of living allowance. Do Should you know what it is, how it's calculated? Yeah. But if you're trying to go through the VA compensation uh, claims process under VBA, this shouldn't be your main focus. Read it, understand it. Okay, I get it. But this is not going to help you get to 10%, 20%, or even 30%. Okay? But you still need to understand what it is and, excuse me, how it's calculated, all right? That's just my opinion. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the COLA, all right? So right here, these numbers is from this year. January 2024, you see 1.4%. February, April, May, June, July. In June, it kind of dipped a little bit, okay? But look at the jump between February and April, okay? It jumped up there. But now it's back at 2.63%. In October, they're going to come out with that number. When they do, I'll do another video and update you all on what that is, okay? So, number one takeaway. Don't let this distract you from your goal of getting your service connection, okay? Whether you're trying to get to 10% or 100%. Do I think that you need to know how it's calculated, what it is, uh, when they're going to present it to everybody, and when it goes in effect? Yeah. Okay? But that's it. You got it? Move back to the claim. That's the prize. Okay? So don't get too caught up in it, but I just want to share that because I've been getting some questions about it. Again, I'll put this link in the description section, and you can go back and continue to do your research. So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and as always, share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.